watercress. Beautiful watercress and lots of it. Watercress is in the mustard family. It definitely has the leaf shape that defines it as being in the mustard family. The sought after aquatic plant is very desirable. So much so that it's actually cultivated and sold in some stores. This perennial plant was introduced to the Western Hemisphere by European settlers. They brought it over as a way to thwart scurvy because of the high vitamin C content. In 16th century Germany, that was the first known time that this plant was cultivated. And yes, I'm walking in the plant or in the water. This is a plant that's native to Northern Africa as well as parts of Southern Europe and Asia. It can be found in areas where there is slow water, slow water or slow moving water, but you have to know the source of water in which it comes from before harvesting it. Because if you find this and, and it's in an area in which water drains from fields where livestock, livestock graze, never ever consume that raw. It has to be cooked. Watercress growing in those locations are prone to infestation by the cyst stage of a parasite. And if it's consumed raw, you're gonna be at risk of getting very sick. Cooking destroys the parasites. But if it's in a clean source of water like this, you can consume it raw or cooked, but of course you should wash it first. So as you can see, it forms lots of leaves. These are all shiny and the stem, let's see if I can, is round, it's smooth and it's edible as well. Seeds and flowers are also edible. The seeds usually, or the flowers usually occur anywhere from March until October, depending on where geographically you are located. In the more Northern reaches, like in Canada and the Northern United States, you're only gonna get flowers probably from May until July. And as far as these leaves go, they contain very high quantities of vitamin C, K, E, also calcium, magnesium, manganese, iron, copper, potassium, sodium, and even selenium and zinc. Oh, and I think phosphorus as well. It's most notable for having so many vital amino acids for us. This is so incredibly healthy. So you know what I'll be doing shortly. Lots of this is going to be going home with me. Watercress. Thank you for watching everybody. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell so you get notifications of future videos. Thank you.